Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mongoolie Show. This week we're taking a look at the weekly blog, but it is not just one weekly blog, it is two weekly blogs. We're going to be taking a look at Incursion 2.0 as well as how you can unlock Craven free to play or spend a little money and get the Spider Slater. Let's get into this and take a look right now. All right, everybody, we are doing this live on Twitch. So if you want to come join the conversation, head over to twitch.tv slash The Mongoolie Show. Come join the conversation and hang out with me over there. We're having a good time. We are going to get into this blog, though, and take a look at it. This is kind of my first reaction to a lot of this stuff. So we're just going to be going over it and kind of getting my initial impressions. And then when the events actually go live, come back and check out this channel. Hit that subscribe button so you get the notifications. And then you will actually see the math for the videos, what you need to do to make sure that you're getting the most out of all of these events when they go live. What we're looking at here is the first week of what we're getting. So as I said, this is a double blog post. So some of these events are just for the next couple of days. Some of them are for next week. We're probably not going to do a live blog post next week because there won't be a live blog to read over. So, so on su Sunday, we're going to get Omega Red. And on Monday, we're going to get the uh, Incursion Raid 2.0. My apologies. We're also going to get a new battle pass featuring Ironheart Mach 2 and some additional dark promotional credits. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to get the Animal Armature. This is your ability to unlock Craven. This is a free event. We are definitely going to be talking about this. And when this event goes live, we're going to have a full video on that. We'll just sort of touch on it today. On Friday, we have the Shadow Heroics Quick Rumble Blitz, and that'll be it for this week. Starting next week, we're going to have the Spider Sh Slayer Showcase. That's hard to say, which is your ability to buy Spider Slayer. We're also going to have the second run of the Black Cat Trials. That slipped in there. I missed that the first time. That is fantastic. I can't wait for that. Spider Black Cat is one of those characters that is absolutely necessary in this game. If you have the ability to unlock her during this go for it push hard do what you got to do she is a great character you're going to want her as a highest star level as you can possibly get we'll also start a swarm blitz which is great we're really focusing on the superior six and the sinister six here so that's good if you don't have him unlocked or you need some shards left on him as well as the spider slayer initial release and showcase we've had some of these showcase events in the past uh they're generally good sometimes they're locked behind a paywall we'll have to see how this event goes i don't think we talk about it too heavily in this blog post yet though Superior 6 uh, is crossed out, so we're getting rid of that, I guess. We're also got a strike pass going on with Dark Hawk, which is great. The Pegasus team is really strong and giving us more shards for both Mach 2 and Dark, Heart, uh, Dark, Dark Hawk. It's going to be really good. That's a dangerous name to say multiple times quickly. Uh, Superior... Oh, here it goes. It just got moved down. So it's going to be on a different day where you're going to be earning a supply two orbs and winning cosmic crucible battles, win or lose with Sinister Six. Again, I'm going to assume that this is a alliance wide event. On the 30th, weapons online, earn pack a punch orb fragments from campaign nodes and spend power cores. We'll get into that in a second. And December 1st, I cannot believe it's December already. I get that this is two weeks away, but it still just blows my mind a little bit. Me and the boys, quick rumble blitz with the Sinister Six. Uh, that'll be further on, but I mean, Sinister Six has been out for a very long time. Most of us probably have them at six, or sorry, seven stars, so that'll be a very easy event. And keep an eye out for inbox messages alerting you to character availabilities for Sylvie coming to the War Store, Darkhawk coming to the Bumps, and Photon to the Hard Villain 7.6 replacing She-Hulk. That's incredible she hulk is a really good character you definitely want to get her so if you don't have her maxed out already and you do have access to villain 7.6 make sure you do that before this but i'm super excited for getting photon to be farmable that's great news all right spider slayer is coming to the game not this monday but next monday so if you want to buy the character you can do that for 675 power cores per orb you can unlock him during that event there is going to be a showcase event available for him not a way to unlock him but a way to get resources for him so you do need to have him unlocked to get the most out of that event but it sounds like you can enter the event with your superior six and to get it sorry to get resources for your superior six as well as for x-force characters which are required to get dr octopus who is a of course on that superior six team so be on the lookout for that that'll be coming out in two weeks next up we've got the engine of war event this starts on monday it is an alliance wide event and if we take a look at the chart we can see that it's gonna last for six days what you're gonna want to be doing is playing in war battles 
Uh, you can also earn the allied supply two orbs from making your alliance donations. So make sure you're doing those. It's actually really important to make sure that you get all the way to the very end there. That's usually 2000 points a day and it counts for every single person in your alliance who picks it up. So if you've got 24 people in your alliance, you make it to the end there. That is 48,000 points every single day, which is huge for events like this. If you're playing the war battle, it's really good because it does not win a war battle. You just need to play and you're going to get a thousand points per uh per playing so that's 30,000 points if you just do your 10 for the three days which is really really good there are a lot of sinister six character shards available here which is a little bit disappointing because most of us already have those characters but if you go down far enough you will notice you do get 25 craven the hunter shards which is actually really good he is not in the game at this point so for a lot of us that'll be our first shards for craven other than i guess the free gift of five they did give us there's also a lot of gold and silver promotional credits and even some dark promotional credits before we get too far down. That's only at milestone 11, which is really nice. There are vibranium slabs, of course, be for the month-long event, but mostly what we're going to be looking at is trying to get down lower to get these T2 level 5 ion orbs, the dark promotional credits, and craven shards if you don't have them. There is a decent amount of gold here all the way down at the bottom, but uh, for most alliances, I'm going to assume that's going to be pretty tricky to get down to. Uh, especially with this capping out at 720,000 points. It's going to require a lot of the allied supply orbs. But on the plus side, you only need to play in war battles. You don't need to win war battles. So worst case scenario, if your alliance is down a member or two, you can buy alliance or buy war plays, play more battles than you're supposed to, and kind of make up the difference there. So looking like an okay event uh the fact that it is play and not win is huge the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the animal armature this is going to be your way to unlock craven as a free-to-play player it is an arena based event and it takes place on thursday november 23rd if we take a look at the chart you can see that you're going to be earning these superior seeker orb fragments through playing in the arena as well as there is a web milestone that we'll get into in just one second so nothing on this chart actually unlocks craven but a lot of this is gear that he's going to need which is actually really good there are character shards for moonstone as well as iron fist in world war ii so if you don't have those two characters built up all the way that'll be excellent and of course there's a lot of vibranium slabs and the jet engine parts to help you towards the month-long event there is a bunch of augmented gear. There's some red star orb fragments, which are, I mean, they're giving away red star orbs at this point, like candy. So I, eh, I don't really care too much about that. But you will also get some T2 level five ions if you can make it down low enough in this event. The orb fragments are only at a one to one ratio, and that's the only way to get points on this. As far as the chart says, I'm sure there's going to be web milestone gifts and things of that nature. But this is going to require opening a or earning a lot of orbs so hopefully this is really simple and easy to do we'll break this event down when the actual event goes live and we know exactly how the math is going to work for this as i said for the web milestone leading into that event we've got the big armor hunter it also starts on the 23rd what you're going to want to do for this event is spend campaign energy and the nice thing about this is it does include the incursion energy and in fact the incursion energy is better at a two to one ratio which makes this pretty decent you only need to spend 10,000 campaign energy over the course of seven days which feels very doable, especially with the incursion energy counting as a 2.0. If you do that, you're going to get seven of the superior Suker orbs to try and help you unlock Craven, which is really good, as well as a bunch of the vibranium slabs and uh, a meaningless amount of gold. That is it for this week's blog. We're going to take a look at the week blog for the next one, and we're going to start that off with the superior superior sinister which is a weird name but so be it and what this event is it's going to start on tuesday when your cosmic crucible goes live i don't have a chart it says chart available here but it is not that is a lie what we're going to be doing here is winning with our superior six or sorry winning in cosmic crucible and if you've got sinister six at five or seven stars you're going to get more points for winning with them i personally have them on defense so i'll have to remember to take them off defense and use them for offense so make sure your alliance knows about that before this event goes live so that you have the most amount of points you can possibly get keep in mind there are multiple sinister six characters in fact let's take a look at that as you can see, there are 10 Sinister Six characters that are technically available right now. Craven is available at the time of this event. Not likely free to play, but I know some people do have them. But make sure you get wins in with all of your characters, not just the five main ones. You will want to get as many points as humanly possible. And luckily, a lot of these characters have been out for a long time. So getting seven star wins with them should be pretty doable. At very least, get your five stars in. 
as I said, we don't have a chart for that yet. So come back to this channel. When this event goes live, we'll break it down when we actually know all the things we can know about this event. The next two events also don't have charts available for them. We're looking at the weapons online as well as the architect of destruction. Now, what you're going to do for weapons online is actually do campaign nodes and you will get pack a punch orb fragments for those campaign nodes. We have no idea what the rate is going to be or what the chart looks like. So we'll leave it at that. But that starts on November 30th. Also on November 30th is the Architect of Destruction web milestone where you're going to earn raid credits. Again, no event chart, not a whole lot to talk about there. So make sure you come back to the channel when that goes live. I feel like I'm saying that a lot here, but they're not giving me anything to work with. So subscribe, like and subscribe. Coming out on December 1st, we've got the Me and the Boys Quick Rumble event with all of the Sinister Six. Now, remember, there's a lot of them, so this is going to be a very easy event. Also, most of them about for a long time, so seven stars is going to be good. No event charts, we can't really go over it, but it's a Quick Rumble Blitz. These don't take very long, and they reward okay for what they are. All right, Incursion Raid 2 starts on Monday, and the big things we're going to want to know about this is that even just to get your foot in the door, you are going to have to have your characters at T2, level 3, ISO 8, and if you want to do difficulty 3, which is the current hardest difficulty, you will need to have them at level 4, ISO 8. T2 level 4, obviously. Y'all recommended that your characters be level 95, 7 yellow stars, 6 red stars, and gear tier 16, and that is the minimum recommendation. So you will want to make sure your characters are at least that high. It does say that the characters, your um, the enemies are fierce, but the rewards are great, but they don't tell us anything about what those rewards are going to be, at least in this blog. So be aware of that. And if we want to take a look at what the actual map is going to look like, I have to assume this is going to be a starting point right here. But if we scroll down, it does show the starting point down here. You're going to be starting with Mystic, then going on to Tech, up to Mutant, and then Bio, and then Skill, and then, of course, it goes cycling down from the opposite direction. So my guess by looking at this is maybe we're going to get... We just got brand new Mystic and Tech teams, but the Mutants are getting a little long in the tooth, so they're probably going to get it released next or replaced next, I should say. So you might find there being quite a bit of a bottleneck right here. And then as they replace the mutant team, the bottleneck will switch to up here and then over to here. I'm actually kind of hoping this is a tougher raid and that people aren't doing 2.3 within a couple of days. I would like it if it's tough. I want it to be doable tough, but I do want it to be something we have to strive towards. So that's where we're at with that. And uh, good luck, like the Mystic and the Tech Reads, like with both of those being brand new teams, I imagine most alliances will do relatively well with those. And then we'll have to see how the mutant teams do. Again, hopefully it's doable, but tough. That's, that's what I'm hoping for here, but we don't have a whole lot more information on that. The Elite Stores are going to be introducing Ronin, Mockingbird, Tigra, Infinity Man, Darkhawk, and Ironheart 2.0 for Red Star as well as Diamond purchases, so be on the lookout for those. With the introduction of Incursion 2, we're actually seeing some updates some of the older raids. Now, this will not affect Incursion 1. This only affects the Ultimus, Doom, and Greek raids, or the Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. You're basically going to be lowering the thresholds for what you need to get better gear, as well as the rewards are getting better. Now, there's a whole lot of information here, but basically what you need to know is it's going to be easier to get the gear, and the gear is going to be better when you get it. There is also a orb content update. Now, it's saying that you're going to get more blue, purple, and orange raid orbs, uh, dropping in better quantities. But the important part is that the teal elite orb will also have its gear tier 16 mini unique drop quantities doubled, which is actually quite nice. I realize a lot of us already passed gear, uh, gear tier 16, but it is still a minor bottleneck. And for players who are coming up to that level, it is a huge bottleneck. So doubling that is really, really strong. All right, and that's all we've got for you this week. Are you excited for the Incursion Raid 2.0? I know for me personally, I am really looking forward to getting my Craven on. I am loving these new Sinister Six and Superior Six teams. Gobby is amazing, and I can't wait to add to that team. Probably not buying uh, Spider Slayer personally, but if you are, let me know how he works out. I'd love to know if this team is working as beautifully as they hope it is. If you're catching this live for the first time and you're making it this far, please consider hitting that like button. It does help out the channel quite a bit, as well as hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 500 by the end of the year, and if you can help me out with that goal, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, head over to twitch.tv slash Show. We're live a couple of times every single week, as close as right now. I am live on Twitch at this moment as we're doing this blog recording. So hit the follow button on that so you know when we go live and you can join us over there. Other than that, Commanders, you have a great week, and we'll catch you next time. Good luck to you.